Tour. Of course, for another view of the whole of Manhattan, there's the Empire State Building. But on that tour, you can't see the Empire State Building. I feel like I've walked into a postcard. So the key is, is when you visit the city, it's come here somewhere like the top of the rock, have a look around, get a sense of the space that you're about to explore. Because it's all spread out there for you, almost like a map three-dimensional map. It's absolutely fantastic up here today. It's also viciously cold. Now, as the capital of capitalism, New York City offers you choices in everything, especially transport. If the weather's good and you've got plenty of time, one of the best ways to get around Manhattan, of course, is to walk. Alternatively, you can take a taxi, although be warned, if you're trying to get across town, it'll take you almost three times longer than if you want to go up or down. I'm heading downtown into the Lower East Side, which used to be working class, racially diverse and bohemian. Now though, it's increasingly wealthier and whiter. Nestled at the foot of some housing projects resisting gentrification, I find Frank's Bike Shop, which should be called Frank's Brilliant Bike Shop. You know, if you are in Manhattan on a short break and you've got a limited amount of time to see as much of the city as possible, then a great way to do so is by renting a bike at an establishment like this one, Frank's Bikes, in the Lower East Side. No matter how rich and corporate it can get, New York still has a priceless commodity, and that's character. Frank deals in it. What makes Manhattan a great place to cycle? Manhattan, mm. <laughs> everything here. <laughs> I mean, you got your parks, you have your, uh, you, you, know, you have your ferry downtown, you got your seaport, your museums. I mean, uh, Washington Square, Chinatown, Little Italy. You know, it's just an interesting place all the way around. Now, I notice that you keep on showing uh, ladies' bikes here. No, to not me. necessarily I mean, ladies' bikes. Are you trying bikes. to tell me something? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, uh, Finally, the I settle so on a man's bike. New York is definitely a city where you can get anything you want. In my case, it was a bright green, classic 1950s bicycle. Right, Brooklyn Bridge, here I come. When I lived in New York, I used to cycle all over money-making Manhattan, and it's a great way of making sense of the island from the inside out. The traffic can be a little bit hairy, but there's a decent network of cycle lanes and you can pick up or download maps for free. I'm hoping to make it to Brooklyn before the sun sets on the East River. A race against time, and once again, weight is not on my side. Perhaps it wasn't the smartest idea at this point to have rented Manhattan's heaviest 